today we are in conversation with the debutante actress Deepthi Sadi, who plays the character Nina in Lal Joser's latest film. Thank you. Hi Deepthi. Hi. Pudhiya cinema release aavam po gaya na. How do you feel? I am very nervous, but I am very happy, okay. excited. Mm. Uh, I have a lot of positivity in me and I am so glad that I am being interviewed by you today. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Nina. Yeah. Tell me more about her. Well, um, a lot has come about Nina. But one thing about Nina that has not come in is um, she is a very different character. Mm. She is someone who speaks her heart. She is someone who thinks with her heart, not her head. Very versatile, very different. I am mm. sure each and every girl, not only in Kerala, but all over India, will find some part of her in Nina's character. She is okay. that versatile and different. I don't want to say too much. Too much. But yeah, yeah that's something about Nina. Complicated. Okay. All right. So you told me uh, everyone has a Nina in them, like a, a, part. a, a small aspect. Yeah. Right, so, so everyone will be able to kind of connect to the character somewhere yes, at some point, right? Much. Okay. Nina da cherry oru character intro. Nyan YouTube le kandi rono. Adin na thoda nyan madhili chadi thunda. Madhyang gurchi thunda. Palathen chedi thunda. Adikkalai le nyan kerei thila. Yeah. And what is the what is that about Nina that nyan adikkalai le kerei thila? I mean, what kind of a girl is she? I mean, a little more about that maybe. Yeah, she is a little different, as hmm. I said. So she's done everything and anything in the world. Okay. But the most simplest thing of entering a kitchen is not done by her. She's okay. that complicated. That's right. the difference about character. And this is just a small part of Nina's character. There mm. are a lot many teasers coming out. So slowly, slowly, you'll start making sense as to why she's like this. Okay. So, so tell me, but the, the real you, Deepti, Sati, mm. and let's say Nina. Yeah. Is there any similarities between the two? And are there any differences, if any? She has hair like this. I had hair which was like this long. I'm a beauty queen actually. I've mm. done Miss India. I've done so many pageants in the past. She's a complete tomboy. Mm. So when it comes to body language and all, yes, I'm different. And uh, some habits about Nina, which after you guys watch the movie, you all will come to know. That's mm -hmm. a little different. But the way she thinks, uh, freedom of speech, um, she thinks she's impulsive, she thinks from her heart, very true as a person. So I think those are some qualities I think I possess of Nina. Okay. But I can't see you as the girl with the long hair and that non-tomboyish attitude and you know your whole ghetto. It's hard to differentiate you from, from the real Nina herself, isn't it? It's a big jump. Okay. It's like a different person altogether. Nobody will recognize if I put a picture of mine before and now you'll think it's two different people. But mm. I think that's why I'll also want to do something like that. Tell me, how did you come into this film? How did you get auditioned for this part? Um, actually, Lalsa was searching for a new heroine, especially for the central character of mm. his movie. And uh, I still remember being in Bombay. And mm. because of Miss Kerala, uh, fortunately, I got a lot of modeling offers. And I've done some jewelry ads. I've done some magazine shoots. So through one photographer, uh, he asked me if it's OK that he sends my pictures to Lalsa mm. for a new character. I was a little clueless about it, but I consulted my parents and the moment my mom heard Lal Sir, she was like, please send your pictures mm. because mom has seen his movies and mom has always been watching and she's been, she's born and brought up in Kerala. Mm. Only for her work, she shifted to Bombay. Mm. So she knows Lal Sir very well and all his movies. So she's like, please send your pictures to him. And uh, I immediately sent my pictures. Lal Sir went through it. Uh, he immediately called me. Went for a look test and within three days I knew I was Nina. How different is Nalini's character? Nina is how different is Nalini's character? Opposites are mm. Nalini and Nina. Mm. Completely opposites. Nyan, whichever qualities I have said about Nina, are mm. the opposite of Nalini. Mm. Com complete opposite. That mm. is why it's so... That's why me and uh, no. they want to show what is the difference between two people and how their lives get interconnected mm. and then how things start rolling. So. Okay. Totally different character. She's a housewife, very girlish, very pretty, not at all. You know, she's someone who lives by the society. Mm. She's a typical Malayali woman, a very, uh, you know, husband oriented, someone who's always true to her husband, true to mm. the culture. Whereas Nina is a little complicated. She doesn't really care about the society she lives in. Mm. So that way, Nina and Nalini are complete opposites. Mm. <laughs> A talent with lot of tantrums. All full time well on. 
നമ്മുടെ നാട്ടിൽ ഇങ്ങനത്തെ പെൺകുട്ടികളൊക്കെ ഉണ്ടോ സംവാട് യുണീക് കേസ് അത് ഷീ ഇസ് റിയലി ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഇസ് ഇൻ ഇറ്റ് മര്യാദക്ക് ജീവിക്കുന്ന സാധാരണ മനുഷ്യരും ഇല്ലേ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ആയിട്ട് ജൽജോ ജൽജോ എന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നു വൃത്തിയാടുകള് നമ്മൾ ഒരേപോലെ ഇഷ്ടപ്പെടുന്ന ഒന്നുമില്ല ഉണ്ടാവാനും പാടില്ല ഇപ്പൊ സ്വപ്നങ്ങളൊക്കെ തിരിച്ചു വരികയാണ് നമുക്ക് ഒരുപാട് സ്വപ്നങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടാവും ആദ്യത്തെ നമ്മുടെ ഒരു കോ സ്റ്റാർ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എന്റെ ഒരു ബോളിവുഡ് സ്റ്റാർ എന്റെ കൂടെ അഭിനയിക്കുന്ന അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സൽമാൻ ഖാന്റെ ഒട്ടിരിക്കണം ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു ഹൃതിക് റോഷൻ ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു രൺബീർ കപൂർ അല്ലെ ഇതൊക്കെ മനസ്സിലെല്ലാ പെൺകുട്ടികൾക്കും ഉണ്ടാവും യുവർ ഫസ്റ്റ് കോ സ്റ്റാർ വാസ് വിജയ് ബാബു ഓക്കെ ഓണസ്റ്റ്ലി എനിക്ക് ഒരു ഐഡിയ ഇല്ല ഐ ഡോ ഹാവ് എനി ഐഡിയ എന്റെ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഡെബ്യൂ മൂവി മലയാളം മലയാളം സിനിമ പക്ഷേ ഐ എം വെരി ഹാപ്പി ഐ എം വെരി ഹാപ്പി മലയാളം സിനിമ ഇസ് നോൺ ടു മേക്ക് ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് മൂവീസ് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ഹിന്ദി സിനിമ ഗെറ്റ്സ് കോപ്പി ഫ്രോം ദ സൗത്ത് പെർഫോമേഴ്സ് അമേസിംഗ് ഇൻ സൗത്ത് ഐ എം നോട്ട് സെയിങ് ബോളിവുഡ് ഡസ് നോട്ട് ഹാവ് ഗുഡ് പെർഫോമേഴ്സ് ബട്ട് ദ വേ there's there is some more of a difference when you see south movies and when you see north movies north is all about a different cadre whereas south is more story oriented they are very character oriented they are so particular they get into the movie and they actually make it for the love of cinema not anything else and i'm glad that i got someone like vijay babu as i said before he has been a great support he is a good actor the way lal sir has trained him to do this it's very different mm. vinay panikar okay that's the name of his character mm. so he's played something very different mm. very nice and the way lal sir has brought out different characters in him so i'm really glad that i got someone like vijay babu honestly so you spent your childhood in kerala ile vandittund yes to parana your grandparents were here then odu nerthe parana so you've spent a lot of time shooting yeah. in the samayath ile what did you understand a little more in depth about malayalis ee oru ee oru time I've learned a lot and I have always been connected to Kerala because my mom has always made it a point that she educates me about uh, Kerala and she used to take me I know all kinds of different cuisines that Kerala does because every year in Bombay me mom and dad celebrate onam mm. we eat on a banana leaf mom makes onam sadhya so I'm very much connected to my southern part as well as my northern part mm. so uh, but one thing that I've learned is whenever I used to come to Kerala I used to only be in the circle of my family. Mm. So nothing really outside. Everybody used to be the way it is and my mom hails from Cochin. So we would speak the same Cochin slang. But when I started working in Lal Sir's movie, Lal Sir's team is a huge team. And Korea variety is under like people from Thrishul, people from Korekor, people from Ottapalam, Lal Sir's from Ottapalam. So I got to know that there are different dialects, different ways of people, a uh, different type of doing. Even Onam in a way celebrated different somewhere in different places. There were a lot of Catholics, so how they would celebrate Easter. And uh, when our shooting was going on, it was Easter under. It was there. Easter was celebrated. So we celebrated Easter. We went to church. So I did a lot of different things during my shoot and I learned a lot of different things. I ate a lot of different cuisines, better and different than what mom makes in Bombay. Tell me about this. Uh, do you think you can pull a traditional Malayali girl on screen? Definitely. The long hair, mullapu, nanam. Hmm? Full on. Sure. Completely. 100%. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, totally. See, because from within, okay. I'm a proper trim, proper girl. So mm. This is a little different. And I'm glad I did something so different because now when I probably, by, hope, hope, uh, by God's grace, I get to do a girlish character, it'll be completely different. But you're aware of the typecasting that goes on in the industry, right? Like it if, is. If, if people see you as in one character and then they tend to keep you in that. Yeah. I was Sorry. a little worried mm. but uh, the way Lal sir has portrayed the character is very different mm. and I'm very confident about Lal sir's work and the way he'll showcase is a little different than what probably anybody else would 
and um, this is something what I would love to portray to people or probably communicate to people is I'm doing this character but there's a reason why I'm doing there's a moral of the story mm. so instead of taking the character in mind take the things that happen and how it relates to a person that's what is more important the moral of the story at the end of it's more important and to get an opportunity to convey the moral of the story with this character I don't think it's a big deal risks are always better in life you have sure. to take a risk uh, Milali audience are very selective about people they like ഒരു പ്രത്യേക തരം ടേസ്റ്റ് ആണ് അവർക്ക് ഇങ്ങനെ ഇരിക്കുന്ന പെൺകുട്ടികളെയാണ് ഇഷ്ടം ഇപ്പൊ മിസ് കേരള ആയിരുന്നു നന്നായിട്ട് അറിയാം എങ്ങനെയാണ് അവരെ അക്സെപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഒരാളെ ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടാണ് ഓക്കെ ഈവൻ നമ്മൾ എത്രത്തോളം മലയാളം സംസാരിച്ചാലും നമ്മളെ ഔട്ട്ലുക്കിൽ നമ്മുടെ വാല്യൂസിൽ ഒക്കെ ഇന്ന രീതിയിലാണെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ അവർ അക്സെപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുള്ളൂ ആസ് എ ഹീറോയിൻ ഡു യു ഹാവ് ദീപ്തിക്ക് അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഒരു റിസർവേഷൻസ് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഉണ്ടോ എന്നെ അക്സെപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യും മലയാളികൾ എനിക്ക് ക്രിറ്റിസിസം വീണ്ടും വരും അതെ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു പേടി ഉണ്ടോ മനസ്സിൽ പേടിയില്ല പക്ഷെ ക്സെപ്റ്റഡ് ബട്ട് വിത്ത് ദ കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് മൂവി ഐ എം കമ്മിങ് ഐ വാസ് വറിഡ് എനി ബഡി വുഡ് ബി വറിഡ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഫസ്റ്റ് മൂവി ആൻഡ് ദ വേ മലയാളി ഓഡിയൻസസ് ആർ ബട്ട് വൺ തിങ് ഐ എം സോർട്ടൻ ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് ദ ഓഡിയൻസ് ഹി വാസ് വെൽ എജ്യൂക്കേറ്റഡ് ദേ നോ ദാറ്റ് ചേഞ്ച് ഇസ് ഇൻഎവിറ്റബിൾ you have to accept change that's what lal sir is trying to do by this movie he's trying to bring in a little bit of change with the existing culture hmm. so we're hoping that they accept and i'm so sure that they do have a mind to accept it and see what exactly is trying to be portrayed instead of taking it in the other sense hmm. so i'm pretty positive about that that they won't they'll see the matter instead of what is shown okay let's go to something a uh, little more something which you've done for a long time yes. experience wise modeling yeah ipano uh, like contest mm-hmm. right um you've participated in a lot of contests yes i have like just name all of them either kerala in Miss order kerala mm. uh, navy queen mumbai yeah indian princess mm-hmm. miss india mm. and you've been uh, idellam top 5 lum alle vandittu miss kerala uh, you won obviously one. Mm. navy queen mumbai won mm. indian princess first runner up mm. Miss India top 5 Miss talented wow. okay that's a lot of lot of crowns as you were saying i was adding each crown and going yeah, up yeah feather okay. to my hat that's great <laughs> how has been the experience uh, on each platform how has it been uh, i it have changed completely mm. i was a kid i think before all of that but when i started doing miss kerala i learned a lot how to deal with people how to talk in front of the camera how to walk in heels how to they actually teach you how etiquettes when you sit in a table how do you eat how do you talk with a fork or spoon and different kinds of uh, cutlery that you have they uh, teach you how to groom yourself they teach you basic makeup they teach you how to do your hair so they train you to become an overall lady so that's what i learned they train you how to model they train you how to walk how to talk in front of 1000 people especially uh, when you go to a level like miss india they actually train you to be a true indian girl because at the end of it when you win that pageant you have to represent your culture and your country internationally mm. so that's something that is very interesting very nice to know and um, i'm glad that i did those pageants some just some very basic questions huh? okay okay <laughs> all right but you have to answer quick mm, that's the thing <laughs> <laughs> okay name five dishes that are served for sadhya okay uh avial mm. uh pachdi mm. uh papadam uh okay no papadam uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh i don't know the correct malayalam word but uh, kerala banana fry ha uh, uperi uperi ha uh, ha uh. uh, cabbage mm mm and uh, paisam who is a newcomer lead artist in malayalam film industry mm. excluding the superstars okay who can become a bollywood film actor as well mail dulkar name three heroines introduced by lal jo sir other than you samrida mm. ann augustin uh, and this foreigner girl that he introduced in spanish masala called daniela <sighs> name five films directed by lal jo sir okay first misha madhavan uh, spanish masala uh uh diamond necklace uh ayan anand tamil and neena okay 
your latest crush latest crush um you can't think like that i don't have a latest oh crush oh my god okay i like dulkar <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> please don't judge me, Dulkar sir. <laughs> There's nothing to judge. Yeah, all the girls like him. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Mm. Because of Okay Kanmani. Is it? You loved Okay Kanmani. Yeah. And Nitya Menon also. Yeah. She's also latest crush. That Jodi is latest crush right now. Oh wow! Now people think whether to put you in a heterosexual category or lesbian category now. No, no, no. Proper category. <laughs> okay. Dulkar, Dulkar, it is. <laughs> okay. All right. Will you get married to Malayali guy, Deepthi? Do you see yourself getting if married? If I fall in love with a Malayali guy, I'll get married. Hmm. You think so? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can. Deepthi, you're a trained Kathak dancer, Anna. Ah, then. Alla. Which will be very, uh, I think, very pleasing information to our audience. Yes. Like, oh, could you get dancer career? You've been dancing for seven years. Seven years. Seven years. I'm seven. continuing also. Okay, and that's where I believe you've. Uh, that's the uh, performing talent, arts that yes, you. Yes, that I did for did my for uh, talent, talent competition. Competition, right? In them, kada chayam batle. I don't know. Namlen the partu varna. Namlen the partu varna. Yeah, kiti chando. You yourself admit. But very soon I shall dance. Huh? For very all very the others. Hopefully, hopefully, in my next movie I shall. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Talking about next film, have you um, anybody has approached you for a next film or um, thinking about a next film? No, I'm kind of taking it slow because um, okay. I want to wait for my release, mm. especially. And uh, next film that I want to do, I want to do with a completely different character. That's okay. my wish mm. and hope. Uh, that's why I'm looking into scripts right now, but mm. I'm not finalizing anything. There have been girls who have come from other parts of India and mm. acted in the Malayalam film industry. Uh, for example, Isha Talwar or Nikki Gilrani, yeah. right? Uh, and then, what is your expectations as to how your future is going to be in the Malayalam film industry? I'm really glad that uh, the Malayalam industry has accepted people from outside also mm. and given them an opportunity to perform. And uh, I'm hoping that they do the same with me. I'm hoping to bring in something different. Mm. I'm sure Nikki has bought something, a different element of herself. Uh, Isha Talwar bought a different element of herself. And I'm hoping me as Deepthi, I bring a different element. And just hoping that they accept me. Mm. It's very important to me and they like me. So that I can do even more better work and entertain them and keep them happy. Very straight out question. This is going to come as straight out there. Sharp as a sword. Mm. Does the casting couch exist? Deepthi? I haven't faced it. At all? Not at all. I've been the most comfortable, in fact, mm. till now. And uh, I'm grateful and I'm happy that uh, that's not happened. Mm. I've heard a lot of cases. Mm. Um, it's something that uh, is not really acceptable. You cannot uh, do that when someone's coming and asking you to give them a chance to portray their talent. It's completely different. I don't accept that too much. But by God's grace, that's not happened to me yet. Deepthi, thank you so much. It was good speaking to you. Very Same refreshing. Here. Same here. Yeah. I love the show. It's really chilled out. <laughs> I never expected it to be this chilled out, but I'm glad that I came here. For me, it was nice to meet uh, another Miss Kerala. Another Miss Kerala. Yes. yes, I've met a few, but it was very nice to meet someone else. I hope you have a wonderful career ahead. Thank you. Miss Kerala, no la batch na, yengal ekke na represent ida on screen and make us all look great. <laughs> Thank okay. you so much for having me on the show. Thank you so much for coming, Deepthi. Thank all you. the best. Thank Thanks. you so much. Teni la puvin ullam kavarum ilam kaate Ivari pogu kaate verde aliyade Arum kana tadu virulale Kanivode Nerum ninjal tadugamo Alivode